Okay, so if you've been following along, <laughs> I know it's been rough. It's been rough for me, trust me. Um, I got a job. Well, first it went from Alexis, not my daughter, but the, the guy. First it was the Norwich, and this keeps going back and back and back. You've got to go all the way back to the one Heather G to get to the first part, and there's like fill-ins in between. But it all began when I was a normal lady, you know, and I was approached by some sets of circumstances that ultimately led to me being enlightened on the way that knowledge or information is extracted from people. Um, people who may or may not be engaging in any sort of negative interactions. From there, extortion became part of my verbiage when I was given the option, do this, do this by a detective, or I will take your children from you. This is in 2015. So you, you, you fall, not victim to your circumstances, but um, you have a choice, right? And what do you do if the only choices suck? <laughs> you do your best, right? You do the, the next best right thing and you cope as, as well as you can. And you know, that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, there's been a brief moment of peace where I thought, hey, I've got my own place back. I can start working again and bring my children home. And it wasn't anything large. It was a one bedroom, you know, one, not even a studio uh, space, but I was happy to have it, um, you know, because I could then work up from there. But then something happened and I was thrown out. My belongings were taken from me again. And uh, I, keep, I keep the smile as much as possible. There are times I cry, of course, um, but, uh, Ultimately, I ended up in a position with a guy who has a roofing company, roofing repair. So he goes from door to door looking for issues with shingles, issues with leakage or other problems with the roof. He then offers the, the owners of the home solutions um, by repairing and soliciting the assistance of the insurance company for repayment. Um, if the, the homeowner's insurance denies it, he said he's very willing to work with the, the person and you know do cash pay or whatever. If it's a small repair and it's not covered by the insurance, whatever the case may be. So I was excited. It's not obviously my dream job, but it's definitely something I could do and do well. I began inundating myself with information, YouTube videos about this roof replacement and how to do it well and how to communicate the information that needs to be communicated to the potential customer. Uh, every day for several weeks, I was told we were gonna go out and make these sales. That day never came, we never made any sales, we never even attempted to make any sales. But it wasn't because I wasn't willing or ready or capable. Um, I also think that that's a fantastic opportunity for a lot of people, a lot of people who know how to not only sell roof replacement, but also for people who will jump up on the roof and know how to get those shingles you know, replaced. Uh, many people can you know, benefit from doing things like that. So one thing leads to another and I moved from the place I was. Um, I don't know really why, I really don't have much insight into that, but I was happy that I got to at least uh, go see my kids for a second. Definitely happy, it's definitely not enough. Like I've been saying the whole time, I deserve to be with all three of my children, uh, period. Um, and my children deserve to be with me, you know, and we deserve to be in a home where we're able to work and provide for ourselves and live and thrive. So he moves me from the place where I was and there was a bunch of stuff that happened. He took off with all my stuff. I freaked out. I made a police report thinking I was getting robbed again. Um, I updated, you know, all of my documents and my calendar. I sent back a police report compliment to the CPD. Hey, thanks for listening to me and hearing me out because he said he would drop my things off at the police station. Um, so I picked one, contacted the officers. When he picked me up later that night with my stuff and offered me, you know, another safe place to sleep and live um, with my belongings, I was so happy. I woke up the next morning and wrote a report back to the CPD. Hey, thank you for listening. Thank you for being willing to let this guy drop my stuff off. Um, hey, have you heard any of the other reports I filed over the last three years? Any of the petitions with the court system? Um, but the hopes are always that when we wake up tomorrow, you know, there's gonna be some follow through and we're gonna go make these sales. Uh, that didn't happen. Uh, Grace, gratefully, I'm super grateful. I don't know the verbiage there. His son was able to give me a lift to the doctor this morning for my regular checkup. 
it was so funny because I'm talking to the PA and I'm like, well, you know, this is going on and this is going on and robberies and I haven't been sexually assaulted for six months that I know of and, you know, this and that. I miss my kids. And he goes, okay, so nothing has changed. So this is all very well documented and has been, you know, every step of the way, which, yeah, it pisses me off and it makes me cry and I do cry over it, you know, a lot. Um, but I also try to just be optimistic and patient as possible and, um, throwing a fit is sometimes it happens you know you get overwhelmed but uh especially in these very 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 unique um circumstances but uh for the most part i handled it pretty well and then uh he sent me a message or sent his son a message saying that i was causing problems for the family his wife is pregnant i don't want to put unnecessary stress where you know it doesn't have to be and he told his son to drop me off here downtown so I am downtown chilling with all my stuff again um, I don't really know what's gonna happen next um, I'm not happy about it obviously I'm still extremely frustrated I'm, I'm spiritually you know very tired from picking myself up and and looking to others to pick me back up um, emotionally uh, but I'm, I'm you know doing my best to stay as optimistic as possible uh, again given these very very unique set of circumstances that have been extremely well documented on all my social media platforms uh, with the authority as well as the uh, court system multiple petitions filed I got to speak with my youngest um, Sunday again prior to 2019 they lived with me full-time uh, well half time four out of seven days of the week their fathers and their father's family always took care of everything, all their needs when they were there. And I took care of all their needs when they were with me, from clothing to food, whatever the case may be. So um, I'm, still, I'm still waiting on that resolution that I've been promised so many times and still very curious about how this situation continues to repeat itself and, and extend itself. And uh, I just have a lot of questions. I, I write a lot. I started writing again. Um, when I don't have to write and, and reflect, I choose not to. I'd rather move forward. I'd rather stay focused on my variety show, on earning income. Um, but, you know, times like these where I'm anchored here because I have my belongings and I don't want to just leave my stuff again, you know, um, when writing seems like the only way or the best way to kind of reflect and, and document and keep track of what's been going on and stay grounded in my uh you know, current reality. Um, but I have a protein bar and some protein and a bottle of water. There was a cool group of people out here who watched my stuff while I went to use the restroom for a moment. Um, I don't know, you know, what's going to happen next. I, I don't want to continue filing police reports, filing petitions um, that are not being heard. So what I'm, what I'm looking for is acknowledgement, um, responsiveness, uh, communication, resolution, restitution, explanation, um, and obviously ultimately the main goal is just to be with my children and my family again, um, you know, and continue living my life. So that's what's going on right now. <laughs> it's Heather Coco Senza. Um, make sure you guys, if you want to support me in any way, it's much appreciated on my variety show. The OnlyFans platform is hosting it currently because I haven't found a better spot yet. Uh, and it offers the opportunity for people to donate financially. There is nothing uh, sexually charged in there. There's some sexy stuff, but no, no sex, no porn, no nothing like that um, on my variety show. It's a place for the development of my show, fitness, fashion, fun, uh, spirituality, discussion, serious shit, happy shit, funny shit, you know, whatever. Uh, just a place to kind of be and also to let my family also be. Um, I'm going to move it from OnlyFans ideally to a different platform as it develops so that I can include things that my kids like to do and, you know, things that my family members are up to and uh, show, you know, cultural diversity in my life and, um, you know, overcoming a lot of these things that have taken place. And I also want to share a resolution to all these things. And, um, you know, I'm extremely curious to know what everyone else involved has to say and what they think. But again, as many times as I've asked for it, I haven't received any sort of communication at all. No responses to the emails, no responses to, you know, the in-person petitions, no responses to the face-to-face -face questions. It's just been uh, passing the buck, passing a deflecting, 
uh, evasiveness and, you know, some game playing. So I'm, I'm again, truly not interested in playing any games. Um, I've accepted so many job opportunities and proven that I'm capable in so many different capacities. So I remain hopeful, optimistic, excited uh, for the future. Right now I'm coping, you know, to the best of my ability and trying to keep a smile on my face, distracting myself again with the writing, um, just living in the present moment because worrying about what's gonna happen when I have very little control over it has proven ineffective in the past. So that's where I'm at. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well. <laughs> as well, no, I'm not having a fantastic day. I'm coping with some fucked up circumstances again and doing my best to stay positive and optimistic despite those circumstances. I love you guys. Thank you for hanging in there with me and uh, I hope you all have good vibes and a good day.